Hello, welcome back to CBSC Board Economics. I'm Sudam Sevio. Today we'll be discussing a new topic in determination of income and employment that is uh, called upon differentiation between autonomous consumption and induced consumption. You remember when we were talking about consumption function or propensity to consume, we discussed in the economy there should be some minimum consumption, whether there is income or not, that is the consumption at zero level of income is called as autonomous consumption. Whether there is income or not, there has to be some consumption in the economy. Hello, welcome back to CBSC Board Economics. I am Saddam Hussein here. Today we are carrying with the determination of income and employment. Today we'll be discussing about difference between autonomous consumption and induced consumption. You remember when we were talking about consumption function or propensity to consume, we discussed how the consumption changes with the changes in income. We already discussed that there should be some minimum consumption in the economy. So, the autonomous consumption is the consumption at zero level of income. The consumption at zero level of income is called autonomous consumption. Autonomous consumption is always there in the economy. Whether the income is there or not, autonomous consumption has to be there. That is, in simple words, what is autonomous consumption? Autonomous consumption is the consumption at zero level of income. It may be 10 crores, may be 20 crores, that is autonomous consumption. What is induced consumption? As we have seen, we learned one concept, marginal propensity to consume, MPC. What exactly is MPC? Let's recollect. Marginal propensity to consume is the ratio of change in consumption to change in income. That is MPC. If MPC is 0.5, it means that whenever the income increases by 100% in the economy, right, you know, the income will go, consumption will go up by 50%. So, what is autonomous consumption and induced? Autonomous consumption, we are just seeing, autonomous consumption is consumption at zero level of income. What is induced consumption? As income increases, the consumption also will go up. That is induced. That means induced consumption depends upon the national income. If the income increases, induced consumption will go up. If income comes down, induced consumption will come down. But autonomous consumption is always there, autonomous consumption. So we, we write it mathematically, autonomous consumption as C bar. C bar, mathematically. That means it's constant. It does not change. It remains constant. Induced consumption, we just write it as C. C stands for consumption in macroeconomics. Autonomous consumption we denote in the graph on the OY axis at zero level of income. That is autonomous consumption. And induced consumption curve is rising upwards because as income increases this consumption keeps on going up. So induced consumption will keep on increasing. That's rising upwards. That's it. I repeat once again. Autonomous and induced consumption. Like the way we have one other difference between autonomous investment and induced investment we have seen earlier. Now today we'll be discussing autonomous consumption and induced consumption. The first point you have to remember is autonomous consumption is the consumption at zero level of income in the economy, the consumption at zero level of income. And what is gas induced consumption? Induced consumption depends on national income. If national income is going up, induced consumption will go up. If the national income comes down, it will come down. That means it's never constant. Autonomous consumption, we denote it as C bar. Induced consumption, we write it as C. Autonomous consumption curve or the point, we show it on the OI axis in the positive range at zero level of income. 
and induced consumption curve keeps on rising as income increases it's rising upwards now let's see the difference here you can see it here distinguish between autonomous and induced consumption autonomous consumption and induced consumption the first point which i told you autonomous consumption is consumption at zero level of income induced consumption depends upon income with the increase in income it increases and vice versa that means with the fall in income it falls down autonomous consumption is the consumption at zero level of income induced consumption changes with the changes in income second point it is autonomous consumption is denoted as c bar induced consumption is denoted as c it is on the ox oy axis at zero level of income this is zero level of income on the x-axis we got income on the y-axis we got consumption this is c bar that means at zero level of income it has to be there always it either goes up or comes down it has to be there always and it rises upwards with the increase in income you can see here this is c bar autonomous consumption and this is c induced consumption as income is increasing this consumption is also increasing if you take that the other way around as income comes down consumption also comes down so finally i revise once again autonomous consumption is the consumption at zero level of income induced consumption changes with the changes in national income autonomous consumption is denoted as c bar induced consumption is denoted as c autonomous consumption point or the curve is at zero level of income on the oy axis it either goes up or goes down that point is always constant that is c bar induced consumption curve keeps on rising upwards that's why this curve is rising upwards autonomous consumption is at zero level of income that's all we have time for this small video till we meet next time it's goodbye from Saddam Hussein don't forget to share and subscribe bye bye